If you want cheap Microsoft points and game codes, check out g2a.com. Links in the description below. It's Melvin 70 and today I'm bringing you my final BPL predictions versus the Mystery C of this year, week 38. And yeah, the scores have actually overtaken him. I'm on 159, he's on 158. So it's very close going into the final week of this season. And yeah, let's just get into the predictions. So first up, we've got Arsenal going up against West Brom. Effectively, Arsenal have secured third place unless the unlikely outcome of us beating Hull 6-0 and Arsenal losing 1-0. Don't think that's going to happen, so they don't really have too much to play for. 0-0 draw against Sunderland. They probably did deserve to win, but Sunderland did very, very well in that game. West Brom been very good all season, you know. They, they, uh, they've they had some really, really good results recently. They're in good form. And I fully expect them to get a point, to be honest. I don't think Arsenal are going to be playing, you know, their best football. So I'm going to say it's a 1-1 draw. The next game, we've got Aston Villa versus Burnley. Now, Aston Villa... Again, they've been remarkable to stave off relegation. Burnley, unfortunately, relegated. There's not a lot to go for in this match either. I think it's going to be a comfortable victory for Aston Villa, 2-0. Next game, we've got Chelsea, fresh from their 3-0 hammering of West, uh, from West Brom against Sunderland, who've just secured, uh, well, Premier League football for next year, drawing 0-0 with Arsenal. This game, you know, if Sunderland had something to play for, I might have even tipped them to win because they did beat Chelsea at Stamford Bridge last season. Still the only team to do so in Jose Mourinho's reign in the Premier League anyway. Chelsea, not a lot to play for. I, again, I can... Ugh. I'm going to say Chelsea win 2-1 just for the fact that Sunderland really don't have anything to play for either. So yeah, Chelsea 2-1 victory. Next game, we've got Palace up against Swansea. You know, two teams that deserve huge credit. Gary Monk, absolutely fantastic season. Most points for Swansea, a double over Manchester United and Arsenal. And then you've got uh, Crystal Palace. Pardew's really done well there. And uh, both teams, this will probably be a really entertaining game, to be honest. Both will, you know, want to finish the season with a bang, I suppose. So I'm going to say it's a 2-2 draw. In the next game, we've got Everton versus Tottenham. Two teams that are evenly matched. Everton finally coming into form uh, towards the back end of the season. You know, they're climbing up the table. Tottenham looking for a Europa League place. I'm not sure... Um what the standings are probably should have checked that but they're definitely in contention so they're going to want to win this Everton are going to want to finish the season as high as they can so again i'm going to go for a 2-2 draw i reckon this is going to be really entertaining and a very close game tottenham have just signed uh Wemmer as well the center back so you know maybe the center backs will step up try and uh, perform so their place doesn't get taken next season but we'll see what happens next game we've got hull up against manchester united hull need a win to have any chance of relegation then they obviously need newcastle to lose or draw i think and then uh, they stay up i do feel sorry for bruce all right uh, he's a manchester united legend and it will feel like really bad beating him knowing that he's going to get relegated but we need to all right the, the reason for that we need to show that um we're, we're ruthless and we finish the season strongly people are saying this isn't important but we have the slimmest of chances of getting third place and to be honest i want to win any game i don't care if the season's already done as a manchester united fan i want to win everything that's thrown in front of us i do reckon we'll win because i've done a preview of this and i reckon Hull will come straight at us full force attack knowing they need the points and that's exactly where we play our best football when teams attack us has been proven against Liverpool, Spurs, Man City, etc. So I'm going to say 4-0 Manchester United. In the next game, we've got Leicester up against QPR. You know, this would have been a relegation contender a few weeks ago, but Nigel Pearson's done absolutely fantastically well for Leicester. They're, they're safe and they've done really well. QPR, on the other hand, they've given Ramsey the job, even though he's been relegated into uh, the championship. He's got a slightly uh, worse record than Harry Redknapp did at QPR, but... QPR, a really nice victory to be honest, 2-1 in their last game against Newcastle, so um, yeah, their, their confidence, they're going to want to go out winning, you know, so this would be another entertaining game in my opinion, but I reckon Leicester will edge it 2-1. In the next game, we've got City up against Southampton. Now, City secured second place, they really have nothing to play for. Southampton, pretty much the same, then again, they have got Europa to contest for, so they'll want to get a win. And I reckon they will. I reckon this is going to be a 2-1 victory to Southampton. Man City won't really matter to them if they do lose. So, yeah, I reckon 2-1 Southampton. Newcastle versus West Ham is the next game. Now, Newcastle 1 point in 11, is it? Or 1 point in 10? I think it's 11. Um, they've just been beaten off QPR, or who are already relegated. I generally cannot see them winning this. Sam Allardyce will probably get sacked after this, regardless of the result, which is a bit of a shame for West Ham. But he's going to want to prove a point, because he wasn't very popular at St. James's Park. He's really going to want to prove 
the fans wrong and I reckon he will. I reckon they're going to uh, inflict more pain on Newcastle but they won't get relegated because we'll beat Hull. I'm going to say West Ham will win 2-1. And in the final game we've got Stoke up against Liverpool. Now Liverpool, you know, have been dire recently, all right? It, it looks, you know, you've got the Raheem Sterling business. Jordan Ives just signed a five-year deal, so that's a little high, I suppose. you got Gerrard leaving. You know, there's a lot of dismal at the club. They're not really sure who, who wants to come to the club, who's going to stay, you know, what's happening with Brendan Rodgers and Jordan Henderson, etc. So, you know, they're, they're going to want to prove a point again. They are going to want to finish the season strongly. I think they'll secure fifth, even if they do lose this, but... Um, Stoke, on the other hand, is a very hard place to go. And after you've just been beaten 3-1 by Palace, I believe that was the last result. Yeah, it was. So, uh, I'm going to go for another defeat for Liverpool. I'm going to say 2-1 Stoke. So, let's compare my results with the mysteries. So, some different results here. As you can see, I've said Arsenal will draw, whereas he says they will beat West Brom. Same result for Aston Villa, a 2-0 victory. He thinks let, uh, Chelsea will win 3-0, whereas I say 2-1 to Chelsea. Palace, Swansea, I reckon they'll draw, but he thinks Palace will get the win. Everton versus Tottenham, I say 2-2, whereas he says 1-1. Hull versus Man United, he thinks we'll win narrowly 2-1, and I say 4-0 Man United. Leicester versus QPR, 2-0 for me, sorry, 2-1 for me, and 2-0 for Leicester for him. Man City, he thinks he'll get a draw against Southampton, whereas I think Southampton will win. He thinks Newcastle will win and stave off relegation that way against West Ham, and uh, obviously I think West Ham will beat Newcastle, and then we both think Stoke will beat Liverpool 2-1. Let me know what your predictions are, hopefully you have enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already, like the video, and yeah, peace.